Katrina. And I'm Gio. And we are Hello Real. Positive all across America <laughs> is the creators and founders of Trap Art, Jesse and Amina. Come on, <laughs> so just for no anyone who doesn't know what Trap Art is, just give us a quick little overview, and we'll get into the interview. Oh, uh, Trap Art. Trap Art is, is basically a platform for artists. So uh, we do events where artists showcase their artwork, and then we have magazine, we have fashion shows, uh, we have a media. Uh, department, so it's basically just a platform where artists can get promoted and people can get lit. <laughs> <laughs> that happens a long way. Yeah. <laughs> that, that just happens naturally. <laughs> so you started Trap Art to be your own bosses. Has that become a reality, or has it met your expectations? Yeah, definitely. Um, we were already doing events before Trap Art, um, and then Trap Art just kind of organically happened. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we've we've been working for ourselves since 2011. Now, now that Trap Art is uh, spreading beyond the Bay, how do the other cities compare to the original? Um, I mean, it's the same and different. Um, pretty much everywhere you go, you attract like people who are into art and then just that type of crowd. Um, but then, you know, we was, I was just in New Orleans and, and you could just, they got accents out there. So it's just little things like that make it different each city. Maybe a different accent here, a different accent there, but but in general, the the event they attract the same type of people. Is there a place that you've liked uh, 
as much as the bay or more than the bay or it's like no place. Like, 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 like home. Like, 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 like home. Um, but I feel like each event kind of has its own little like you know every event every city has its cool thing about it that's just unique to that city. But if I had to answer that question, um, I think LA is awesome. Um, but again, shout out to LA. Yeah, LA, <laughs> LA is awesome. LA has Keep great energy. Um, and then Detroit. Detroit, Detroit. Detroit yeah. is amazing. Detroit. What was it about Detroit? It's it just, like it's similar to to kind of Oakland. Like mm-hmm. you know, like you go around the city. It's a whole bunch of art, whole bunch of murals, it, and it just seems similar to the people in Detroit and Oakland. Kind of, they, they're they're the most similar. Okay. Yeah, I feel like with Detroit, I feel like you know Detroit kind of gets a bad rap. Right. You know, people are like, oh, Detroit's dangerous. And yeah. yeah, there might be they say that about Oakland Oakland too, right? Exactly. So I feel like people in Detroit and Oakland kind of have something to prove. You know, where it's like, no, like we come out, we're positive, we have art, we're creative, like we're not all, like, you know. But people make a scene. Right. So I feel like Detroit has a lot of pride in our city, yeah. and Oakland has a lot of pride. We have a lot of pride in our city, so I feel like that's that's. Um, but we love all the other cities. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go visit Detroit then. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I would definitely want to go. I would recommend it. It's, it's dope. It's very dope. Okay, so being the married one of the group, I have to ask, what's it like working with your spouse? It's cool. I mean, yeah. it's, I think it's. You know, it's it's cool because I think when a lot of people are, you know, you're in a relationship or you're married and you have two totally different career paths going on, a lot of times, you know, you get home and you're frustrated about something, you want to talk about something, your spouse is like, all right, I don't know. Sure, yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> right, you know, but I feel like since we're kind of experiencing everything together, um, you know, we, we're, we're in this together, like, literally all the time. Which, you know, it's, we always bump heads occasionally. Yeah, we bump, but yeah, just like any, anybody, like, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, I definitely think um, it's been positive because, you know, we can always bounce ideas off each other. Um, Even if it's at 3 a.m. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's, literally happened. it's literally happened before, so. Yeah, so that's the part I think is positive and, you know, like anything, you'll bump heads, but, you know, I think it's, um, it's without her, it wouldn't be a trap bar, without me, it wouldn't be a trap bar, so, you know, it's, it's like building something together. Well, that's good. That means that you guys have a good relationship because you're <laughs> successful too, right? <laughs> relationship goes for y'all. Uh, what's next for Trap Art? So literally next week we have the Trapathon, so that's, you know, at, at the biggest venue we've ever done. Um, but other than that, you know, just keep on doing the same type of thing. Keep on uh, doing events and just keep on working with all the people involved with, with this. So tell the people when's Trapathon, where is it, where it's, can they get tickets? Yeah, it's, so it's Saturday, July 28th at the Craneway Pavilion in Richmond. Um, tickets are available at trapxart.com. Um, and it's exciting. We have a lot of stuff lined up. There are 25 music performers, 16 fashion designers, hundreds of artists uh, that will be showcasing vendors. There will be food and drinks and just lots of dope vibes in the building. So. Um, the event is starts at 2 p.m., goes till 2 a.m. So we're really excited to do this. It's been a lot of work, a lot of work. Imagine, after you're stressed yeah. out, you're yeah. so anxious, yeah. excited. I, mean, yeah, I feel like you know I'm anxious before almost every event. Yeah, but, this one's a little. Yeah, but this one is extra. It's extra, <laughs> yeah. but um, so yeah, definitely anxious, but excited too, yeah, and just ready to see what It'll happens. It'll work out just fine. Yeah, it always does. <laughs> So last but not least, you know, we're hella real. <laughs> we got to ask y'all what you're hella what? Oh, we talked about that. <laughs> 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 and the thing that we that we just came up with the most is like, we're just like, it's just hella intense. Like there's just hella stuff going on. Oh, I thought you were like, going to say hella intense. Oh, oh, we have another one. <laughs> oh, okay, like that. Yeah, two of you, so you have two. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to plug your socials? Track, track art. Just, just 
Trap XR yeah. across everything. Trap XR, trapxr.com. We did. Alright, All right. thanks, All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was dope. Thank you. 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 Faith Evans is marrying Stevie J. Uh-huh. Um, he for sh- she for show let Tupac smash. <laughs> I saw that too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? But I did hear that he's also coming out with like some type of pilot reality show. With them surprising. Surprising. But I he does, like the he time. Has a reality show with his kids, right? Yeah. Something. Mm-hmm. So I guess he's doing like a spinoff of that. So spin to, up of a spin off. <laughs> Go ahead, CB Day, get it's your favorite. <laughs> but I, the timing, I just feel like, is this for publicity? Is this for the show? It, like, is this really love? Married? Yeah. I mean, you know he got fake married before. He did to Jocelyn. They weren't really married. No, he no. came out on well, I, I thought like one of the radio married. shows. I don't. I want to say the Breakfast Club, but I think it was something else. And I'm not your husband. Never have been. Never will be. That he came out and was like, nah, all that was fake, blah, blah, blah. And then they confronted Jocelyn. Y'all don't watch enough love and hip hop. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, no, 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 like, after like two seasons of One City, I tap out. Yeah. No, I'm all show. about Hollywood. <laughs> I'm all about I did Hollywood. like Hollywood. But what about Faith? What's going on with Faith? Because I did you hear uh, her, she was on the the one Joe Buttons, was it his podcast? Podcast or I don't what know. She talking about on there? I don't know. Well, I don't know which one she was on, but she was saying that she was talking about um, licking Biggie's ass. He ain't mine a few times. Oh. <laughs> oh. I might have ate his back. Oh, I, I did. did a clip of that. I did. I didn't watch it, but <laughs> is that, I saw that headline. I saw. <laughs> she, no, she. Yeah, that's what they did to each other. Hey, is this a visual we did not own. need? No. To each his own. But imagine this. Dead, 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 That's what I'm, I'm sorry, saying. I'm sorry. Here I go with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously. I mean, my booty ain't even that big, and if, when I'm washing it, you gotta separate it a little bit. But imagine Biggie. Yeah. That's a lot of stuff. You be like, ass. He's dead, though. Like, how is he? No, yeah, no, 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 I didn't bring it up. I know, like, like why are you bringing it up? Because it's popular and it's a thing now. Like it's a thing. It is trending. It's more acceptable. Eating ass is trending. Yeah, it's more like it. Or the topic. To Janae Aiko, ever since she said it on the track, people yeah. have been been free to it's just like and when Donald Trump us. became president. She, she said she doesn't even like it. She don't like Billy Clay. Who? Oh Janae. She, yeah, she really I know, I heard her say that and she was like, it just rhymes with supposed to be. <laughs> But girl, you why gotta make the, But why did you say eat the booty like groceries? You could have said eat the coochie. You could have said eat the what? You could have said many other items. Yeah. But you chose booty. So they say I don't eat the booty. Girl, bye. So what were you saying about the CBJ Twitter or something? With the yeah. So his Twitter header has a picture of him and uh, Biggie still. Him, wait, him and Biggie? Yes. Like from back in the 90s or something? Yes, like an old. Well, obviously it has to be. Oh my god, I'm about to look this up. You like, think it's photoshopped? Um, I I didn't check it. I mean, a lot of things are photoshopped, but. If he did that, that is so messy. Let's see. But, um, so did he just put it up after? I, I don't, I mean, I don't know, but. There's something he had up the whole time and just like. Oh my god. You say, did you see that quick flash? Shut up, it's on there. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, he's a trash person. <laughs> he is. I'm sorry, and she's like, like trash what are you? Yeah. What's his look? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the father. Like, oh, it's just dying. Oh, yeah, they have babies. Yeah. They have grown ass. And I heard, and I heard that they, not like they, they, were, they, they didn't know. Open. They didn't know either. No one, no one knew. Like they eloped. Like and they're uh, supposedly they're upset because they didn't know. This is for the show. It has to be. It, it like why would you? Why would you do that? And no yeah, one knows. Jay is just like one of those people. You look at him and you just want to punch that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like even him, like like come on, that's like like he's not around anymore.
more to defend himself. Like, oh yeah, he's making him look like a fool. Like it's just tacky. The whole thing's tacky. It's tacky, tacky, tacky. Yeah. Tacky. Like, why would you put that? Like, I would never do that. Like, oh, I'm gonna marry um, somebody, but I'm gonna put a picture of me and your ex-wife being cool or not. Like, I just like, take the shit yeah. down and then get married. Right. <laughs> like, like, they put, let me delete this right quick. He put it up right. to get married. Woo child! Yeah. That's, that's what um, Stevie J, chill. Faith Girl, sit yourself down somewhere. What happened to you? <laughs> Blink twice. Right. 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 <laughs> Blink twice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's move on to some more controversial topics. I love those. We keep it healthy. My, my favorite. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know if y'all know, y'all may not know. My dude is a huge comic book fan. You know, this uh, last weekend was uh, San Diego Comic Con, the biggest one. And they released a trailer for um, Titans, which is Teen Titans. Which is the Teen Titans, but it's just the show is going to be called Titans, so I guess they're like a little older, not teenagers no more. Um, so, and one of the, char the characters on there, Starfire, she's an alien, right, in the comic. Um, and they cast her as a black person, and the fucking nerds have lost their mind. They're talking so much shit about her. Like, I know if you guys have seen it a little bit. I saw it. I did, yeah. And I was like, oh, let me get out of here. This is horrible. It's hurting your feelings. Yeah. Like, the girl had to shut down her Instagram. Like, she did. I, yeah. yeah. But I saw she brought it back up this morning. Oh, she and, did? Yeah. And I didn't them. see. <laughs> I didn't see that she's also <laughs> casted <laughs> for. Um, right? She's also casted for Keith. Uh, what, what's his name? Peel? Jordan Peel. Jordan Peel, yes. Yeah, oh. Uh, what's her name? <clears throat> Okay. I'll I'll sorry, I'll sorry, I'll 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 sorry, we don't know what? your name, girl. No, we'll know but, it after this. Right. Uh, <laughs> oh is it her? Is it Anna Diop? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anna Diop, girl. Anna Diop. Diop that girl. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Fuck them nerds. Yeah. <laughs> Cause she about to blow up when she do this Jordan Peele movie. Cause you know everybody's waiting for that movie. Cause yes. like Peter's gonna be in it, and it's like anyone know what it's about? Um, I think it's about like a black couple and like living in a is it living in a black community? community? Yeah, okay. for well, sure it's gonna be like a thriller. Um, I can't wait. Cause I still watch Get Out. Yeah. Still scary. Right. <laughs> I'm like, how am I still scared? <laughs> I've seen it five times. I got it on Blu-ray as soon as it went up for pre-sale on Amazon. Like, yeah. I didn't do pre-sale, but I got it when it came out. And mm -hmm. Black Panther. Yeah. And we need to go see that new movie that just uh, recently came out. Train was it Blind Spot? Blind Spot. Yes. 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 That's another one that's yes. really yes. 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 Hold on. So we're on a roll right now. Your shirt. Sorry to bother you. We haven't seen it. Haven't seen it. No, okay, I we haven't seen, seen it. We'll go see that. Good. We don't have to do a double feature. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. And they definitely have um, it has to get out vibes for sure. Mm -hmm. And I think um, Jordan Peele did do. He co-produced or something. For I need to check that out. But yeah, it's blind spotting. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it just came out. So mm -hmm. yeah. we're not behind on that yet. <laughs> well, if we start getting invited to um, like <laughs> open the open Whatever y'all want, we'll exactly. <laughs> you know, DJ D Sharp. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot some shit. Okay? <laughs> shoot your shot, girl. Shoot your shot. <laughs> We're very professional. We won't drink. Right. <laughs> Unless, you, Unless you give it to us. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I also don't say no, though. We also know how to hold our liquor, though. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Let's talk about movies. <laughs> Well, kind of is Starfire. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's yeah. the show? Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, so yeah, Starfire. It was Starfire. So now I am looking forward to seeing that movie. I'm not even a, a comic person, so yeah, just a show. I want to. Oh, it's a show. <laughs> <laughs> you learn something new every day. <laughs> but no, it does look like pretty. It's, it's rated TVMA, so it's like uh -huh. it's, it's gonna supposed to be like yeah, it's yeah. pretty. Like, um, <laughs> It's not like just some little kid show. Like it's supposed to be deep. Then the whole thing about trolls in general is just like, why do you spend your time like hating on us? Yeah, I, like I've never understood people that 
go into another person's comments to say something negative. Like if you don't like what the fuck the post say, just like, like move the fuck you on. are spinning. scroll. Yeah, scroll. So oh, Charlamagne got that show on MTV. Yeah, you know, like confront your catfish, but like confront your Oh, that's Charlamagne. Yeah, Charlamagne. Well, he's a host on the show. Neve's yeah. not on it. It's just Charlamagne and some gay dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, gay dude. I don't know your name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're fabulous. Though, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, speaking of Charlamagne. Yeah, oh. him and this fucking sexual assault case he's or getting, rape he's, case. He's getting me too, y'all. Which yeah. I think is well, like he he got me too he years did. ago, and it got thrown he was out. Like really, it was a long time. Ago. It was like seventeen years ago. Right, something. seventeen years. See, this is the whole thing about that. It's like. Why are y'all bringing up statute of limitations? I mean, yeah. they had gone through the whole like it got thrown out. It's it's done he with. did a DNA test and it got thrown out. Oh, wow. so it's so, really not him. Yeah, right. It's just people, and I think he's. Um, I read somewhere that he's also starting a show. I think on HBO or Showtime. And I, what I've noticed is when someone levels up, the teardown begins. Yeah, like oh that. Yeah, so oh, we got to prepare for in. that, y'all. <laughs> Trolls, we coming for you, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I'ma try to ignore the fuck out of y'all. Mm-hmm. Beyonce, the fuck out of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we really uh, need to right. find. We need to find people who, we need a beehive. We need people to clap back for. <laughs> <laughs> right. We need a hella high. I, I would say hella high. 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 Yeah, so Angela Rye actually got dragged for not speaking out um, on Charlamagne because that's her brother or whatever. Um, so like, because they felt like as a woman she should um, stand up for other women. Yeah, I can drink now. That's why I was saying. Well, like, put me out here. <laughs> They were dragging her and saying that when a woman comes out and you know says that they've been sexually assaulted, that other women should stand up for that woman regardless. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that's the case. Like if this woman is it's like, it's a case by case, and none of us know. Like, what if this woman is lying? Right. Which seems like she, she was. was. Yeah. So it's like, what do you? No. And it's not. I don't need to rah rah every time. Like exactly. say case by case. Let me sit there and figure out uh, innocent until proven guilty, right? Exactly. I mean, like, I, let me figure out what the details are before I'm just like, nah, fucking all. Yeah. Especially if it's someone I love and care exactly. about. Exactly. Right. Because right. I don't want to think of them that way. Exactly. There, but I think there are some people who you kind of think in the back of your head, like, okay, I know this person, and you hear some shit, and you're like, you like 50 cent in power. That nigga did that shit. Right. He did that shit. Guilty as fuck. <laughs> But I don't think that, <laughs> but then at the same time, you don't want to be like Nicki Minaj either and right. her brother in that yeah. whole situation. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I think sometimes it's just best to stay quiet until the, all the facts come out. Right. Mm-hmm. Like if you're, if you're not there to witness it or if you don't know yeah, it first hand, yeah, don't, don't say it. Yeah, that's, that's another thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. like just don't say it. If anything. you're the one who set up the button under the desk. Right. That, <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. Wait, what? Matt Lauer had like <laughs> from the Today Show. You know, he got me too, and mm-hmm. because he had when you walk into his office, mm-hmm. he had a button under his desk that would close the door and lock it, and you wouldn't know. That's I forgot about that. That's fucking crazy. Are you fucking kidding me? You didn't know he's a whole ass no. creep. A yes. whole ass creep. Yeah. Yeah. A whole he. <laughs> <laughs> you a whole he. Oh, that's wait. another ass level of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes my spine tingle. <laughs> That's gross. Creepy. And that went on for years. I can't believe that went on for years. Hell years. And then all the women on, on so the show saying that they didn't had no idea and all this. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all dating. Come on. That nigga did that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, let me let me sit to that. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I think we're all in agreement that it's not a woman's responsibility. No. No. no, to drag someone without no evidence. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But yes, you do. St- we do stand up for our sisters. Right. Exactly. Like if you know, whatever the reason is. But 
Not just gonna jump to the phone. Yeah. Is that the last topic? Is Beyonce pregnant? <laughs> she pregnant. <laughs> That, I don't know. <laughs> that, that video I seen of her, she had a whole hooch. I didn't see the video. I, I didn't see anything, actually. And we saw her at Coachella, so, and she was skinny then, so it's not like she's was holding months on to baby weight. Yeah. Yeah, it was two months ago, that's what I'm saying. It's, like, it's not like she had, you know, when you have twins, you uh-huh. have, a lot of women hold on to that for young, if we're not Beyonce. Oh, it's Beyonce. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So if Beyonce is not skinny, then she probably is. She probably is. <laughs> and then she's, I feel like she's throwing hits out there. Like I saw another video of her in like this, one of her costumes. And she had the heart right here. It's like, come on. And then her okay, she's going she's around pregnant. and filling her back. Like, she's pregnant. She's, she's, gonna, she's, she's gonna go see Love on Top. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Probably a boy. I think it's, I think that's what they're striving for. Lucky number four. That's, that's, that's it. That's their favorite number. number. So yeah. I'm always here hey. for another Nose Carter. Right. <laughs> Make that legacy girl. My nieces and nephews. Right. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think, uh, you mean my in-laws? Yeah. 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 I'm speaking into existence. My right. Right. My baby's gonna get in that. <laughs> get that nose car money, Carter money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my baby, she's awesome. Huh? What, get that nose Carter money? <laughs> they making money though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not, they're, my children are, well, I'm not pimping them out. I'm just saying if you happen to. It worked for Kris Jenner. <laughs> that it did. Yeah. Because Kylie is a motherfucking billionaire. She or she probably will be what by the dumb time. Dumbass people starting to go fund me for That's what I'm saying. By the go time fund me. by the time yes, she, she airs, she will be a motherfucking fund me. I feel like she wouldn't even take it though. She's no. so stupid. But they started to go fund me to get her to a billion dollars. Cause she's like at she's at like eight hundred million or nine hundred million. She's really close to it. So they they want to donate money to her to get her. <laughs> This is America. <laughs> Don't get to slip in them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, meanwhile, Flint ain't got no clean water. Oh, like, oh, come on. Right. Like, I feel like she wouldn't even, like, I wouldn't yeah. even, she wouldn't even take that. That's just stupid. Exactly. And, but then I also read that there's another woman, uh, Pat McGrath. Her uh, cosmetic line is, is like about you. It is. It is her past. Over a million. Black owned. Oh, hey. Yeah. You know, we support that. Yeah. And I think she was also like a makeup artist for Beyonce, by the way. Like, See? Hey, girl. Gotta get in the <laughs> Gotta get in the house. You gonna become billionaire. <laughs> One more, one more cheers to being billionaires.